I've got a right to protect myself. So I'll be boiling water, trying to take you up, and I've got a baseball bat. All right, let's go. Another day, fresh day training out on the streets. Beautiful April English weather. I've never trained here before. I've had one session here before. Remember it from clips I see of Callum training here. Sick little spot. Let's do this, lads. I've got a little challenge starting in here. The techie stride here, rail stride to redirect. And now comes the tricky bit. Awkwardly climb up this corner here, hurdle over the spikes into an arm jump position and slip down into that. I'm gonna try and redirect into a pre. Pray for one bounce. First one didn't go too bad. It's just about finding that right rhythm, connecting all the links together. I found myself a uh, little precision with an awkward landing space here, which is right up against the wall. I kind of go, I kind of go at an angle and stick it like that and hope it not bounce off. Ooh. Ooh. I've upgraded my challenge and trying to go down to that wall. Weird momentum, weird angle change. This is the next spot. We've got two challenges here off this roof, running pre to this window ledge. Again, you don't have very big landing space. The other challenge, the second window ledge, and then jump to here. Do you want to have a look, better look at that? I'm jumping over to where Max was. As you can tell, it's a big drop. We're going to do it individually and then try and pair it up and do it together. So this will look sick. One of my main concerns is the window sill, about it being so thin, um, obviously, I haven't got much of a landing room. If I obviously overdo it, I'm gonna be splatting into the window like a pigeon. Judgment is the key word yet again. Perfect judgment is required for this pre. I'll give one a go before doing it in sequence with Max. Race of the water gods for one bangs. Oh. Oh, let me try one more and try and get the stick. Uh, members of staff walking around inside the car park. I have to do my preps with a shorter run up. <laughs> Max and Benj came here during isolation. Benj did a line that went over that spike fence at the end. I saw the corner just down from my house and didn't realise this spot was right here. It's a little bit embarrassing really. I should have at least scouted it myself and, and come across it, but I found it now. Next one's tough. Both hands holding the edges of this red thing like this. So it's a bit slippy, but the edges are really grippy for your hands. It's gonna be all in the core. I think I can actually get my feet higher than the slippy bit. Good news, people. Ooh, managed to latch on the second try. Right, interesting corner here. Love a good pipe. Before anyone asks if it's safe, give it a rest. 
It's all very, very slippy, so I'm just going to be boring and take off a few more cat passes I haven't done. pilot mode there. <laughs> and we top it off with an ankle thing. Nice. <sighs> Another one to add to the list of local spot goals. Haven't drilled any decent cat pass in a while so just wanted to come and, and try a few of them because there's a bunch of different variations. Nice wall for the job. I'll come back and work on some more like intricate creative bits at some point. For now we just spam the obvious fundamentals hello everyone i'm in whitehawk today the funnest part of brighton you'll see what i mean look place for fish <laughs> oh, it's funny because place is a fish Police are constantly going past and I don't know if it's because they're checking me out or whatever. Found myself a crimpy little ledge to do some arm jumps to. So apparently the police are looking for someone and it's not me. That's cool. He said, I'm not here to tell you off. Then he just complimented me and then they drove off. It wouldn't surprise me as well. Whitehawk is the fun part of Brighton. Lots of crime and theft. The ledge on this side is so thin compared to that other side. I reckon Toby could cat past this. And his finger strength is really good as well. So I challenge you to this one next week. Cat pass, arm jump, dyno up, 180 back, pre. I want to see it. That's it from me. I'm gonna leave Whitehawk now before I start having too much fun in this fun, fun, happy place. I'll pass you on to one of the others. Peace. So you remember the other day when that guy threatened to throw boiling hot water at us? Yeah, that guy. We're back here. <laughs> Luckily enough, most of the run is away from his property, so I can sort of prep four-fifths of the run 
um, and get it all dialed so I can spend as least amount of time as possible next to that guy. I don't want boiling hot water chucked on my head. This is not going to be nice. Blatchy boys. 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 Blatchy
<laughs> four sticks in a row. Can't say I'm too displeased with that. The bricks are really bad up until this point where they go solid again. So that's the line. But then we contend with the dirtiest, most gravelly run up. The next cool one could be cut past here down to this pillar. Scary though, I might build up now and see see how we do. We've got the same muddy takeoff, but it didn't make that much difference to the last cat pass. <laughs> Just funny for your head when you can't feel that nice traction under your shiny tens. <laughs> That feels way worse than actually doing it, I'm sure of it. <laughs> Managed to get the judgment right in the end. It's quite handy because you've got the pillar in the background to sort of mark where you're gonna land. I don't really know why I found that so scary. <laughs> it's a bit awkward. I knew it would be physically easy in the end, but meh, not that bad. Nice. Shall I get going? It's face fine, as long as you don't, well, are you jumping from here to there? But that was the plan, yeah, yeah. Is it? I spoke to the, um, to the pub landlord as well. And there were some guys that were like free running off his gray wall. Yeah, and is it that? And just a bit, well, it's because if anything happens, you're on a we live on the blog. We're back. We've got a new challenge today. What do you think we're doing in this space? Yeah, I guessed it. Run in, Clio, down to the windowsill. Nice. To control it off the Clio momentum and then into this techie landing, that's going to be the hard bit about the challenge. We should go look at that roof and see what the other jump looks like. Careful, son. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's so, ooh. Have a little look at that, yeah. Nice. <laughs> nice, that's a good halfway house. Now I need to do that without the pause in the middle. Yeah. You do like the two halves individually. And they're all right individually, but when you put them together, it's quite scary actually. Okay. Yeah. That one didn't feel quite smooth enough, so I'm going to go for another one, get the plyo out slightly smoother, and then I'll feel satisfied. Boom, happy with that. Let's go, next spot. Store Army, next spot. The last challenge, I only did it once to save my legs for this challenge. There to there. I'll go up on takeoff and show you perspective. Thin landing area in close to a wall and uh, quite a height difference between takeoff and landing. So many technical elements, such a picturesque kind of jump. Oh, hello. This is uh, the view from the takeoff. Boom. The most awkward thing is this pillar here, such a tight landing space. You have to be careful not to like clip your shoulder or your leg. That's the, uh, the scary bit about it. But I can see the line. I can see myself making it. I might forgive him when I go. Ben, do you want to grab this? Ooh. Ooh. Yo. Ooh. 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 Slightly landed a tiny bit short on my uh, left foot and tweaked my ankle slightly. But I think it's okay to give another one a go. One foot hop test. After doing it twice, it's quite a lot of impact. And also people that are working here have told us to go. My initial idea was to try and stick this, but much more impact than I thought. Yeah. We're gonna move on and uh, come back another day. And if you're a real man, you go from the level up. <laughs> nah, it's not happening. Thank you, Max, for coming up with this next one. Take that off this pole, scrap this wall, and uh, techie and weird.
very weird technique. I like crabbed along the wall with one hand. <laughs> Take that. A one percent jobby. Nice. I tried it when Max and Drew were doing it, and um, didn't really get anywhere close. So happy with that now. Boom. So I've come back to this jump. I tried it twice, I think. I remember it being lots of impact, so. From here, down to that pillar. So that's three jumps now. On the third go, it's probably my nicest, most controlled one. So I'm gonna try on this go to rein in the stick and see how it goes. Jeez. I'm not sure if I can do it, but we'll see. really get like five five attempts at this before your legs will be aching the next morning that attempt made me want to try another one I don't know if I can get it today but I'm gonna give it one more time <laughs> the awkward reset there we have it that was my attempt at this challenge oh it's a hard one so much impact on that I really want to try and get a stick but it's another day thing my legs are really feeling it after that If I didn't have breakfast this morning, I'd have done that. actually help. It's kind of like a double jump up towards the cat bar. Let's try and use it. That's too weird. Tic Tac's a bit weird but I got what I came here to do. Now let's roll. Last time I came to try that this cat bar so I got kicked off so I can tick that one off now. I think security's probably back at home, self-isolating, like he should be. Now we're gonna roll to the next spot. We find ourselves on some more roof start army. We've got three jumps in a row, all lined up for us. Jump number one. Oh, the fattest of the lot, from this roof to here. And then, once you've done that, pass off this ledge. Number two. Hit this, nice little stride. The key to this gap here is controlling the momentum off the first one smoothly into this second one. When you're here, it's kind of like a victory. Yeah, the victory jump. Lovely one over the fence onto the grass to finish. Um, so three jumps in one run. I'm gonna try it individually first and then uh, try and get it together in a POV line filmed on the max. Because that's what we like at the moment. The pop of that. Okay, we've both individually done the, the line now. Now it's time for us both to do it at the same time. Challenge complete, Sir Army. That was a super fun challenge. 
managed to get what we wanted. Such a sick feeling, that one. Turned up to this spot, I thought it's gonna be one of those ones that's super daunting, super heavy and like hard to go for. But in the end, that was actually pretty nice and pretty, pretty comfortable. I've got this in the middle, covering up these little bastards. You bounce off this and land on these, not having any fun. It'll be wicked to stride in. Stride off here, tap off this wall, grab this edge and dyno to here. I'm not strong enough to get this stride yet. What is my problem with committing two feet on 180s that I shouldn't be committing two feet to? So I bounced off the Sainsbury's one and then ankle thinged it. And I bounced off this one and then ankle thinged it. Let's call it head on home. Happy with today's hops. Store Army, thank you again for joining us for another Monday on the YouTubes. I've been enjoying the process of the solo sessions a fair bit actually, but I think all of us are itching to kind of get back together again and start shooting projects like normal. Fingers crossed it all lifts soon and we can have some fun together again. Clothing, bing, bing, all at store.com. Big up to everyone that's already grabbed a piece of clothing from our store. All the support helps. And to those joiners, the people that are paying five pound a month for that extra video a week, Thank you so much. Next week, we might have another teamwork video again without actually meeting up. So stay tuned for that. Right, okay. Let's upload this video, shall we? And remember, please do subscribe. Thanks very much. See you next Monday. Peace.